Okay guys, here we go. My very first Averill Park School District market update. So the reason why it has to be by the school district is because Averill Park is really just a concept. It's not even really a town. Uh, those of you that know this area, you know that the town of Sand Lake is actually, West Sand Lake is in the town of Sand Lake and Averill Park is in the town of Sand Lake and then Sand Lake proper is in the town of Sand Lake. And you all know that if you go to the Averill Park School, Dist School District, you could be living in Post and Kill. You could be living in um, even, you could have a zip code of Troy uh, because some of the uh, properties in Brunswick actually uh, send folks to the Averill Park School District. So that's why I'm gonna do an Averill Park School District market update. And what we're gonna talk about is existing homes. We're not gonna talk about new construction. There are some new construction sites in Averill Park School District. Um, you can build a new home here. However, we are talking about existing sales, not new construction. New construction takes a while. The really high, uh, demand is for existing homes that people can move into in a normal time frame. So existing homes right now, as of the time that I did this research, which was a little bit earlier today, today is Monday, November 2nd, right? November 2nd, it's cold, it's windy. I think the wind has died down a little bit. Um, I'm having a cup of tea. So there are 23 total single family homes currently on the market in Averill Park School District. That means they're available. As of this talking, now you all know the weekends, a lot of houses get shown and they get sold over the weekends and the contract isn't marked as pending right away. It might take a day or two, but currently right now, the MLS says that there are 23 total existing homes. I'm looking at my notes. Um, the low price on the homes that are available is a fixer upper out on Route 43 uh, in the Alps area. It's on just under five acres and it is priced, I think at 90,000. Um, the high price one is 1.25 million guys. Uh, I'm happy to show this one to any of you that would like to look at it. Um, it is a brick mansion in Brunswick. It is 8,500 square feet. That is a big house. So like we were talking about earlier, COVID, you need more space. 8,500 square, square feet is a lot of space. Um, that has been on the market for a little while now, and it is on 12 and a half acres, and it needs some work. It's, you know, it's it needs a little bit of love. The median price right now of available homes in our area is $309,000. So uh, that's a lot of money. I mean, a starter home you know, the, the competitive price ranges are really anything under 325, even under 350 right now is very, very competitive. We're seeing multiple offers. So average days on market is only seven days. Now we'll go to the pending sales. So currently right now there are 54 pending sales. Uh, the low price of a pending sale right now is a HUD property and it is on 13 acres in Post and Kill. It is pending at $70,000. It was on the market for at least 54 days. Rough shape, rough shape, but it is pending right now. The high priced house is 1.25 million. So we've got two at 1.25 million in the Averill Park School District, which is pretty unusual. It's not normal. Uh, 6,200 square feet. It's a brick mansion on eight and a half acres built in 2006. So a relatively new house in great shape. Um, 103 days on the market that was until it was marked pending. Uh, the median pending. So list price. These are the, these are what the houses are listed at or were reduced to. The median pending list price right now is 249. Now we don't know what they're going to close for because we don't know that until they sell. My guess is they're going to close for higher than their than the median list price because houses are selling for more than the asking price right now. Average days on market, guys, is only seven days. Seven days on the market. Now, things are selling in less time than that, but like I said, it takes a day or two for you to get it marked pending sometimes and get the contracts back. And sometimes... Um, you know, you'll put a house in the market on a Tuesday and you do no showings until Thursday or Friday. So seven days is nothing. 
So here's the news for the souls, okay? Now we're gonna talk about the COVID curve, okay? The COVID curve is what happened after COVID. Now here in New York State, we were locked down for a while. We couldn't even go out and show houses. Really, we were not supposed to be out doing any kind of uh, uh, physical contact with the public. So since the beginning of the year, so that was pre-COVID, beginning of the year, January 1st, 2020, we all had such high hopes, didn't we? Um, only 163 homes have been sold since the beginning of the year in the Averill Park School District existing. Okay, again, we're back at existing. Um, but the COVID curve, so I'm looking at homes that were listed after April 15th. To be quite honest with you, I can't remember when uh, Governor Cuomo said that we were allowed to go back out and show houses. Um, it was sometime towards the end of April. I think, because we were locked down for a good six to eight weeks. So it might have even been early May. But homes that were listed after April 15th that have closed and sold, again, in the April Park School District, the average days on market was only eight days. Eight days. The low price of a house that closed was down in the Mountain View area, so outside of Wine and Skill, um, the hill, the Mountain View, that has uh, some folks that go to the Averill Park School District down there. That was $99,000. The high price was $495,000, so significantly less than the $1.25 million. That was a property on Crystal Lake Road with Crystal Lake Rights, so that sold for four ninety-five dollars the median sales price, now this is where it gets exciting, okay? <laughs> it, so in 2019, the median sales price in our area was $235,000, okay? And this is Averill Park School District again, and $235,000. There were 201 homes sold in 2019 in the Averill Park School District, and the days on market on average was 27. Now we're down to eight days on the market. Guess what? The median sales price has gone from $235,000 last year to $290,000. So you are talking about a COVID curve of, what is that, uh, $55,000 difference? Um, did I do my math right? I'm not a numbers person. It's very interesting for me to do this research because I'm the type of person that walks into a house and I kind of know what it should be priced at just based on being out in the market and seeing so many homes and watching what the buyer activity is. So it's very interesting for me to do this research, but 50 to $55,000 gain in price appreciation in one year. And that is what we call the COVID curve. Stay tuned for my next market update. And if you need anything, don't be afraid to reach out to me. 518-496-1299. I can get you these facts in writing as well, if you like. Talk soon. Bye.